to cook candy apples for beginners will be shown in this video tutorial. Three common mistakes that candy apple treat makers make at the beginning of their journey is one, having those holes or bubbles at the top of their apple from not cleaning the apple good at the top where the candy apple stick is inserted. Two, just not cleaning your apples good here. Three, not scraping the bottom of your apples good to prevent the extra candy on the bottom of the apple. So let's get right here into the video. If you can't order online, you can always go to Hobby Lobby and get your super red gel food coloring. Hobby Lobby's gel food coloring is the best. I love it. Also, they have the butter vanilla, candy apple sticks, and tons and tons of ribbon. They have so much ribbon, they have two different locations for ribbon. So you shouldn't have any issues finding that right color to make your candy apple bows. So I'm going to pour, this is a third of a cup of lemon juice. use real lemons or lemon juice it doesn't matter you need your baking soda and I am just going to use two tablespoons of baking soda one tablespoon of salt okay I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on bring to a bowl Okay, look at this. If your water gets like this with your lemon juice, baking soda, and salt, just lift the pot up and it should settle. Or you can add salt to make the bubbles go down. Or you can just add your apple to make the bubbles settle and go down. The reason for this is having my countertop too high or having your stove too high. So I need to turn it down. Now I am dipping my apples up to six to seven seconds and you rotate your apples in the boiling water, bring them up, get a paper towel to get the apple and go ahead and dry your apple off. It's much easier getting the wax off as soon as you take the apple out the water and dry it off with a paper towel instead of just letting the apple sit and then dry it later. So go ahead and dry your apple now. I don't recommend same day candy apples, but sometimes you have to do what you have to do. I recommend you putting your apples on your kitchen counter and let them sit 24 to 48 hours. And during that time, you continue to wipe the wax off your apples. I am using the 431 candy apple recipe for no thick candy apples. That's four cups of sugar three cups of water and one cup of Cairo syrup. I had to add my flavoring when my candy reached 280 degrees because I had forgot to do it at the beginning. This is my Wilton's White. You just want to um, drop or two because I'm making red candy apples. So this is my Hobby Lobby Super Red Gel Food Coloring. Okay, this is the color that I want. I am going to put this on the stove until it reaches 300 degrees. Until then, I will insert my candy apple sticks. I know you see five, but I will be actually making six candy apples. This recipe is good for about six candy apples. Six to eight candy apples. So once all of my sticks are inserted, I have to make sure the top of the apple is wiped down really good to prevent the bubble on top. But I am not going to wipe down all of the apples really good so I can show you what happens if you don't wipe down your apple really good here at the top. You will have bubbles or a hole at the top of your apple like this if you don't wipe your apples really good at the top 
after inserting your candy apple stick. So if you want to know why you have these bubbles or holes at the top of your apple, that's why. Now, if you don't wipe your apple really good at all, within the 24 to 48 hour wait period, your apples will look like this. You will have bubbles around your apples. It looks like an eye, an extra eye is looking at me. <laughs> so this is um, what happens when you don't wipe your apples really good. Okay, so if you don't scrape the bottom of your apples really good, your apples will look like this with the extra candy on the bottom, but some people actually like the extra candy on the bottom. My candy has reached 300 degrees, and now I am going to dip my apples. Dip your apple all the way down in the candy and rotate your apple. Bring it up and scrape your apple on the side of the pot and you just repeat the process until you're done with all of your apples. This is the apple that I am not going to scrape on the side of the pot, just so you can see how this works. I want to show you how your candy will be big at the bottom if you don't scrape the bottom of your apple. So I showed you that earlier and I am just dipping my apples here. If you look at the second apple, you'll see the extra candy right here on the bottom of the apple because I didn't scrape the second apple. So make the process cooking candy apples as a beginner easy by cleaning your candy apples. So one, you want to make sure you clean your candy apples at the top of your apple where the candy apple stick is inserted. Two, you want to make sure you clean your whole entire apple good by wiping your apples down with a paper towel several times or many times during the 24 to 48 wait period. Three, and make sure you scrape the bottom of your apples to prevent the extra candy on the bottom of your apples. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Have a great weekend.